subscribe, click the bell, and turn on all notifications. The one-stop destination for all WWE and AEW. Sean's View Entertainment. What world champion has just relinquished their championship? What main event star has been removed from the WWE once again? What champion is going to be showing up at a monumental pay-per-view extravaganza? And we got much more for you on Sean's View, where we always keep it prolific, consistent, and dedicated. We bring you up to speed, up to date on the latest, the greatest, the hottest, the most significant. And is the WWE ready to introduce a new title in WWE all this and much more, we're going to explore and floor you with the news, the rumors, the gossip. We're going to spread it. We're going to Reddit. We're going to fret. All right, let's not try to go into a rhyming thing. I'm not Kurt Cobain. I'm not on a plane. I can't complain. I'm not on a train. But this is Sean's View Entertainment, and we're going to go far and above because we're, we go more than the average person. As a matter of fact, we go around the, the clock. As a matter of fact, we don't stop. Tick-tock, tick-tock, no one can stop Sean's View Entertainment. But Sean, what world champion has relinquished their title? Is it Roman Reigns? Is it Seth Rollins? Is it the NXT World Champion? And why has this happened? Why has this went down? Well, the first piece of news we're going to give to you right at the top of the show is that Roman Reigns is going to be missing another major pivotal pay-per-view because Roman Reigns isn't even advertised. Roman Reigns isn't even on the marquee. Roman Reigns isn't even on the poster for the Royal Rumble. Hell, he's not even being featured for WWE's pay-per-view in July. Uh, there's another big pay-per-view going on in July, according to Wrestle Talk. So it seems like Roman Reigns is going to miss even more significant time as the Universal Champion. Uh, so what a shock. What a surprise. Again, when is Roman Reigns going to be stripped of the title? When are they going to give it up? When is the WWE going to listen to those in the know? When is the WWE going to listen to the fans? Roman Reigns, year by year by damn year, Roman Reigns, that championship that he goes against and defends, Every year, it gets worse and worse as it concerns his title runs and him defending the title. I mean, what some ridiculous um, stat went out about Roman Reigns in 2023, and it's so ridiculous from the amount of times he defended his title that I'm not even going to get into it. I'm not even going to say I, I'm, we, we should just rip it apart. It'd be absolutely sick, sinister and repulsive. Imagine, guys, just imagine if Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, Hulk Hogan, back in the 80s, the early 90s, would have done something like this. Imagine if Austin only showed up once every other month in the Attitude Era. Do you think the WWE would have won the Monday Night Wars then? Do you think we would be watching WWE Monday Night Raw right now? We, no, we would be watching WCW Monday Night Nitro if Austin only showed up once a month or if The Rock only showed up once every other month during the Attitude Era. And now Roman Reigns thinks he can just show up whenever the hell he wants like it's no big deal, like it's no big problem. Do do do. I'll just praise around and prance around. But again, the major reason why Roman Reigns is excluded and doesn't have to defend his championship and doesn't have to show up is again due to his brave can his brave battle with cancer. And listen, I don't want Roman Reigns to die. I don't want him to get cancer. So Roman Reigns has to be a thoroughly evaluated. So that's why the WWE says, well, you know, you know, even though there's the rumors and the speculation of him stripped of the title and giving up the title and and going backwards. There's been even rumors of him going into a baby face. But again, there's a lot of debacle. There's a lot of situ switches. There's a lot of situations that are going on around Roman Reigns. But ladies and gentlemen, also we got breaking news on the Young Bucks. Are they coming to the WWE? Are they WWE bound? Also, is MJF coming to the WWE? Huge AEW star coming to the WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, according to those in the know, MJF was about ready to sign a Raw and SmackDown. But MJF has already secretly signed with AEW. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions. The bidding war in 2024 for MJF seems like he's already signed with AEW, and that is a monumental signing. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, we got breaking news on a massive pivotal thing about a WWE star being canceled off the Survivor Series, a WWE star being removed from the Survivor Series. What WWE star was originally supposed to perform and be at the Survivor Series? According to those in the know, John Cena was penciled in for some sort of a match to do at the Survivor Series and now creative plans have called for John Cena not to be there due to the Guild War the, the Hollywood strikes is over and done with John Cena's last premiered event was at Crown Jewel so it does not look like we're going to be getting John Cena at the Survivor Series because it was originally going to be Cody Rhodes and John Cena on a, on a major team at the Survivor Series you know but as we all know, that did not happen. That did not go down. And now Cody Rhodes is being featured as the main person for that show. 
AEW Collision does 270,000 viewers, the lowest viewership in the show history versus WWE. That is a very sad state of affairs. And again, listen, I could like, oh, <laughs> no, that's not funny. That's not good because that means WWE ain't going to be, you know, WWE is going to be misunderstood. The WWE th feels like they can just sit back and they can just coast. The WWE can just coast right through and, and, and not, you know, make things memorable and entertaining and unpredictable because as bad as AEW is doing, that ain't going to push the WWE to do better. So the fact that AEW Collision did 270,000 viewers, the lowest TV viewership in show history, is not a sign, is, is a sign of the times. Not a good way, not a good look for AEW, especially when AEW was being built up as the one company that was finally going to give it to the WWE. They were going to put it to the WWE. They were going to make the WWE work their asses off. Really? Really? A world champion has been forced to relinquish their championship, their title, guys. This just coming through my desk right now. A world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, relinquishes their world championship amid their rumors of the WWE. We continue to wish the best as he continues to take over the world. Thank you, Jay. Indie star Jay Magley has seemingly dropped some hints regarding a possible move to the WWE after relinquishing the DPW World Championship. And now there is a belief that Jay is on his way to the WWE. That is the rumors and that is the speculation online. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers... In from there, we got breaking news. Is the WWE about? Is the WWE ready to introduce a new championship, a new world title, or are they going to be re-bringing in another title? A lot of rumors, a lot of speculation. Finally, for the first time in WWE history, of the TV title coming to the WWE, the television title. Do you want to see that happen? Do you want to see that go down? Do you feel that the TV title is suited in the current day of WWE? But in order to do that, they would have to get rid of a title. And it looks like the WWE would be doing away with the Women's Tag Team Championships. And, they, you know, the women's tag team titles have been marred in conflict, controversy. They've been marred in, uh, not contraband. <laughs> no, but no, there's been a black cloud over the women's division. Bring the TV title in. Get rid of the WWE women's titles. They don't do nothing. The women's world champion, that's fine. Though WWE women's champions, fine. The world, the women's world champion and the WWE women's championships, that's fine. That That's good. All right? That's great. That's grand. I think a TV title would do interesting things. I mean, imagine who could hold that TV title in the WWE. I mean, you look at the premier young stars, the young bucks of Raw and SmackDown, and there is definitely a major thing to be said about a TV title coming into the world wrestling entertainment. But that's not all, guys, because we haven't even scraped. We haven't even scraped here because here on Show and View Entertainment, we are brash and brazen. Sign up to become a channel member today. Remember to donate by becoming a, a, a super thanks, a super, super duper star on Show and View. Donate in the comment section below. We do this in stereo because, ladies and gentlemen, this is why we do things in real time. Because as we're live on the air, ladies and gentlemen, as we are seeing, MGF has believed to resign with AEW. Zero talks with the Dutton. Now, see, this is a major development. This is a major update. There was believed that MGF was going to the WWE, that he was going to sign with the WWE. However, there is zero talks with WWE of MJF. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers... Breaking news on a massive injury in the WWE. What WWE star has been injured and is sidelined right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, also, the AEW World Champion MJF injured his hip at full gear. MJF has injured his hip at full gear. Will he have to relinquish the AEW World's title? Also, Nikita Lyons will be back soon from ACL injury. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news on Gunther. Is he being, he's opening up about his weight loss in the WWE. Gunther, as we all know, was a little bit more pudgier, a little bit more fatty, a little bit more stocky. Gunther, you know, talks about his weight loss in the WWE. Also, we got breaking news on Roman Reigns has earned the right to defend his titles infrequently. The WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther is carving his own path and says that Roman Reigns is okay to defend the title as he pleases. That is the opinion of Gunther, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if that's going to go over too good. Also, we got breaking news to Jake Paul reacted to Logan Paul's controversial WWE title photos. Also, we got breaking news. A $10,000 challenge for any fan 
to take down Omos at WWE live events. Now, we thought Omos and MVP were released. Obviously, they weren't. Obviously, they're still in the WWE. That was only a rumor. And yes, we do cover rumors. Sometimes they happen. Sometimes they don't. I don't control what happens. I am just here to give you what I see, read, hear, and um, find out online. That's what I'm here to do. That's my job. I've been doing it for 10 damn years. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, we got breaking news. MJF believes that hardcore fans are overly consumed by bell-to-bell in-ring action. The salt of the earth calls out the hardcore fans. Your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on that as well. Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, we are certainly not done because we're never going to be overdone because we will not be outsourced. We will not be outnumbered. We will not be outsourced because here on Show and View Entertainment, we deliver you the greatest, the hottest, the latest, the newest, the most significant. This is the unapologetic Show and View Entertainment to keep you in the know because this is the flow of the show. Subscribe, turn on all notifications as this is always your ultimate destination for all your WWE news and rumors, the hottest tickets in town, the brash and the brazen. We unleash it to you because I unleash hell. And that's all I got to say about that. Yeah. Subscribe. Plenty more to come. Why? Because Sean View will always be cooking it up for all of you. Later.